Hi everyone, Nathan here from My Lancer Games. Welcome to this evening's stream where I'm going to be painting this guy, this huge dwarf berserker looking troll slayer guy. This uh, this absolutely epic uh, mini. I, uh, I'm a, I can't tell you where he's from because I don't actually know. So if anybody recognises this mini, uh, this big, <laughs> then let us know. Hi to everyone in chat. I. Uh, I haven't got a screen yet. <laughs> haven't got a screen yet, so I can't tell you who's there. I was too busy trying to set the suite, so... Sorry. Right. So, um, yeah. But what we do know is that Tony has been subscribing to us for two years. Two whole years. Yes. Two, two years worth of streaming. Thank you very much. Mental. Tony. Thank that you. Insane, but also, yay! <laughs> uh, hello, John. Hello, Tony. Hello, Pete. Hello, Corico. Hello, Metzif. I hope I'm saying that right. Hey, let's go. The problem is that Pando says hello to you now as well, so that fills up my chat bar. Mm. <laughs> and I can't see. Corico says, do you feel out of your comfort zone yet? Oh, yes. <laughs> Very heavy as it, well. It is. It's, this is definitely the kind of thing that you would grab off the side to fend off a home invasion. <laughs> Pete says... Sure will. Tony has answered Mrs. who said, uh, how's everyone doing? We're doing good here, getting ready to smack my cast column piece with a blady thing and a banging tool. So Tony hmm. has, has cast some very nice um, columns. Ah, uh, right. Uh, but obviously in true Tony style, he's now going to like beat them up. <laughs> mm. Awesome. <laughs> hey, Chester. Hi. Yeah, but we don't know, Jay. <laughs> it's a dwarf. Uh, it's a bust that he's had for how many years? Oh, at least four. At least four years. He can't remember where it's from or who it's by or no, I like, anything. Yeah. So I, I, I got it in a trade with a chap. So uh, I traded him a Maldricar and he gave me this awesome bust and a... Uh, Forge World, Greater Demon of Corn, which is the cool, yeah, the cool resin one from Forge World. So, uh, and and I don't know. I mean, I was quite happy with the uh, Bloodthirster, and he he just like threw this thing in because I'd said that I thought it looked cool, and I've had it for ages and just thought I don't really want to paint that because. You didn't trade it's... it for magic beans then. No, no. <laughs> oh, you might have done. You just didn't want to say because I'm here. No, no. It was... No, because I rang you, didn't I, and said... Do you remember? Hey, Sharon. Oh, I can't. I, I rang you from the show and said, uh, I'm going to swap her Maldra car for uh, this thing. Is is that all right with you before I do it? And you, I always say yes. And you said, yeah, if you want it. <laughs> I am trying to add this sweet, but it's being very naughty. I, pro I probably said something along the lines of, do you remember that great demon of corn, that bloodthirster model that I've been showing you for ages, saying that I really liked? And you've never bought me. <laughs> for good reason. Yeah, then, uh, yeah. Why have you been so daft? doesn't want you to eat sweets. Oh dear, what a oh shame. Dear. What can the matter be? <laughs> Did you even get them off the table? Yeah, I've got them there. Yeah. It keeps telling me that. John the Templar says booyah. Booyah! Uh, what paint is that, Nathan? So, this is some Reaper. Um, it, it's some Reaper yellow label. I think it's Dark Umber or something like that, it used to be. It's Bef worn off. Before the label wore off totally, yeah. Um, and I've watered it down a little bit just to make sure that I've because this thing was until Saturday uh, in my old office outside which has recently been the site of some uh, construction work so I'm just making sure that I've got all the recesses um, covered and that there isn't any dust that I've managed to wash off not wash off uh, anywhere, so this is quite thin just to make sure that everything's sorted, and then we're and then we're going to use this as a 
as a base to work up from. So for the flesh and the bright orange for the hair and the gold and uh, stuff that he's going to have adorning him. I'm gonna... That's what happens to me. Okay. I was trying to, I was trying to get the brick in here. Okay. Yeah. Well, let, let me just get that. You can't put that hat on. Let me get that bit there. And then um, we'll put a hat on. The new cats have settled in, says Jay. New cats? You got new cats? How many new cats? Um, Nathan's brother has got a new puppy. John the Templar says booyah. Again, booyah. Oh, that's a different one there. And there's a wild Pokemon in chat. Yeah. I, I wondered if it was a Cyborg Minis uh, Cyborg Minis thing, but it doesn't say. It's. Uh... Hey, Ricky D. Hi. I wanted to offer promotion. Oh, did you now? Well, I'm afraid that we don't want any. So please go away. I remember how to make it go away now. Now I'm trying to do stuff. Wicked D, make him go away. Mm. <laughs> trying to add sweets, does it not? No. <laughs> Thank you, Wicked D. I've been trying to add sweets for a while now and it's not letting me. Don't think it wants him to eat sweets. <laughs> it's being very silly. Yeah, I thought it was a cyborg thing, but. I don't know if it's uh, not available anymore. It's very cool though. Hey, Red. But that might uh, that might help me paint it in the long run because I'll be able to have a look and see how other people have done it if I know what it's called. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry for the. Uh, super skanky brush that I'm using but it's so I can mash paint into the crevices without wrecking one of my good ones you know I've had to do that 600 times I hope I've remembered to you know add a cool down yeah. <laughs> it is a big boy it's a very big boy right we should have eats well in fact we've got eat sweets twice now oh <laughs> <laughs> go away Annoying eat sweets twice. Oh, it should be there now. It should be there now. Oh, it is there, look, because Wicked Deer has redeemed eat sweets. Oh, so which, which sweets uh, would you like, Wicked Deer? Well, Wicked Deer purchased the sweets, gave you the sweets as a yeah. gift, so Wicked Deer knows what they are, at least. Right, can I actually get... Can I actually get onto my proper bit that I need to be on now, please? There we go. You can actually ban people from this section. Smog balls, apparently. Smog <laughs> what, balls, yeah. Uh, they, they were the ones that I was eyeing up, actually. Oh, apparently looking forward to smog balls. Yeah, yeah. Because when I looked at the thing, uh, this picture of this guy on the front reminds me of Dick Dastardly without his hat. <laughs> yes, <I will. laughs> Smog balls. Oh, Crunchy easy. candy with a sour, chewy centre. Method says smog balls are nice. Oh, you've never had any, have you? Sir? Nope, never tried smog oh, balls. My hands are so cold. I don't think uh -huh. I'm going to be able to paint this horrible mini that I don't want to paint. Ah, so, lime cherry, strawberry, lemon, blue raspberry, or grape. Grape Let's see is what... gross in anything. I think you should have grape. Well, that's the grossest the... one. The only one here, oh, the blue ones must be blue raspberry, but if this weird ass green colour is lime, it looks like a pea. <laughs> <laughs> should, we, should we just do one or should we go for we'll all do, three? Do one and see. Oh, well, let's try a blue raspberry. Jay says cherry. Yeah. Oh. I've, gone, I've gone for a blue raspberry. What are they like? Mm. It's, not, it's not so sour straight away. It just tastes like a sweet. He does like sour sweets, though. Cool, oh, look at him. See, I think you should have pomegranate juice. Now, I've cracked it open. What, your sweet? Yep, it's supposed to be sour in the centre. Ah. Mm. Is it 
It's a little bit sour. Not a lot, though. So which ones are the worst ones, Wiki D? Or which ones are the most sour? Not necessarily the worst. They're, they're oh, nice. They're nice. I like sour sweets. I did tell you you like sour. Smog balls are nice. I like those. Yum, 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 yum. Remember, it's not me. <laughs> Smog balls. Let's it. let's try it. What's that? Tacky's next. Well, you've got to redeem. You've got to yeah. Redeem. Yeah. Don't let's uh, away stuff now. Let's 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 try a couple of different flavors. What so, are those? Yeah, balls. smog balls. So we've got lemon. Oh, I mean, see, John John says eat sweets. What, uh, show John what you've got and let right. John. So we've got smog balls. Which is what he's just had. Tacky's Fuego Chili Extreme. Chili and lime, artificial flavour, corn snacks. So we've got those tackies here. All right. So let me let's bang a lemon one in, and and see what lemon are like while we're deciding. Yeah, we've got some sour patch kids, extreme Nip. sour. Uh, toxic waste, hazardously sour candy. So you decide, John. What, what do you want and, him to have? And then some... Patos Critos! Achibahara Taror Mali! Hot Spicy Flavor! <sighs> what? Nothing. <laughs> that was fine, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Toxic, Toxic waste. waste, says John. Toxic Waste. John has spoken. Mm, okay. Wicked D says tackies are lovely. Actually, Wicked D says tackies are um, lovely. Okay. Let's try toxic waste. Never had this before either. Toxic it's waste. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> mm, cheesy peas. Right then, apple. This isn't getting his uh, brush off me, no. you know, peeps. Apple watermelon. Blue raspberry oh, again. Don't eat too many of those too quickly. They can make your mouth bleed. What are these things? Or oh, black cherry fruit flavour. Let's, uh, there we go. Which one of these would we like? Which one of these would you like, John? Black cherry, apple, watermelon or blue raspberry? Let's try... Uh... John didn't know it was going to be this one. Though. I know, I know. Too many choices. Black cherry. Black cherry. Excellent. Let's see what he reckons to these then, Mr. Hardcore over there. Yeah, toxic waste. Black chip. Oh, that just looks like a throat sweet. Mm. What do you reckon to that one? Mmm, that's pretty good. Yep. Ha! Ah, sour. Hey, Bobby! Hey! <laughs> Are they a bit more gross than the other ones? <laughs> They're definitely a little bit more gross than the others. Mmm. <laughs> you can't keep. Mmm. Can't, can't keep your mouth closed while you're eating these. Ah. Oh, we can see what she tweets and sweets. I want to eat a full tube of smints without any other food, and let's just say it wasn't good. Yeah, oh, smints, do they still make those? Yeah, My friend yeah. once got kicked out of a club for drug dealing when all he did was buy some smints out of the toilet mm. in the club, and because they were weird shaped, weren't they? The bouncers thought he was dealing drugs, but he, he just had a smint. <laughs> what, what are we going for, Wicked D? Watermelon Tackies. any guys is just nasty. I agree, Tony. Yep, Even me too. Watermelon. Nice to meet you. I'm Panda. Who are you talking to, Panda? Mm. <laughs> Panda, who are you talking to? Sugar-free polos have the... Yes, they do. That's right, Red. They do. Uh, wicked this is ta uh, that thing. The tackies. I'm just reading these things out so that I don't have to paint this mirror. Yeah, to toxic waste. That's all right. I, unless it's got like a, because um, I've still got it. Uh, 
recipe. Yes, they do have a uh, laxative effect. Does yeah. any sugar-free sweets red? That's right. All the red. Mm. <laughs> red scopes. Yeah, so let's get cracked in. So I will I will have the tackies in a minute with you, D. I just need to finish this one first. Yeah, so used to inhale toxic wastes. That that doesn't sound good. That's that's the one you just had, isn't it? Yeah. So um yeah. That's alright. Once you once you get past that initial kind of slug of sourness, they're um they're actually alright. You just got to get past that that first initial like. <laughs> Delightful. Yeah, I could I could see how having too many of those might be bad for you, especially like if you suck them. Um, any kind of hard sweet like that can really uh, damage the inside of your mouth. So, a whole a whole packet of those in one sitting might not be a good a good look. Baffle Bane loves them and hasn't had them in years. Oh, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty tasty. It was pretty tasty. Oh, well, at least uh, at least she still stuck by you, Jay, if it was the first date and now it's the missus. See? John the Templar sends love to everybody in the chat. Oh, that's uh, a new one. I don't think we've read that one yet. Look at the cute puppy. Aww. <laughs> that's cute. Everybody feel the love. Let's get some love in the chat. Love, love, love. I actually had a dream about painting this mini. Did you? Yeah. Which uh, which mini is it that you are painting, my darling? My out of my comfort zone mini. Um, and which which one is that? Ah, right. Sorry. You had, had a dream or a nightmare. In the dream, I painted it quite nicely, but to be honest, in the dream, it didn't actually look like it. Mm. It was one of them dreams where you know it's supposed to be this, but it doesn't look anything like it. Right then, let's have a let's have a palate cleansing glass of water, mouthful of water. Come on, then you've got to try the orange. And we're, and we're going to try some tackies. Okay. Tackies Fuego. Let's move my thing over so it gets a bit of crisp in it. Okay. Tackies Fuego. They're like little tubes of spicy looking goodness. Uh, I would imagine that I'm probably going to have to eat the whole packet of these, otherwise they're going to go soft or something. Let's let's try that. Is that the top of the guy's axe that you can see at the bottom of your face? Yeah, it is, yeah. Because it's that tall. Yeah, that's... That's, <laughs> that's El Chopo. El Chopo. Right. Oh, look at these faces floating in front of yours so you can't see you. He doesn't seem to be phased by those. What do you think to that? Have we got a kick after? Yeah, they're they're spicy. So what's should been... Should we have another one? What's been the worst? So no, well, the toxic waste thing was quite like <clears throat> these are all right. I jumped about my mech. I'm not enjoying this at all. Whose bright idea was it? Out of your comfort zone, anyway. It certainly wasn't mine, Karanika. Uh, you lot voted for these. You can't blame me. Um, yeah, uh, I. Uh, I'm not, having, I'm not having a good time over here. Mm. Just making a mess is what I'm doing. Just we we like we like tackies. They're nice. Tacky tacky. Oh, is that what you're gonna be uh, eating tonight while we're doing the orders? Mm. Munching on some tackies. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> 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 I've got a bit stuck in the back of my throat though. I can. Whoa. Still taste that bad boy. Do better with these food choices, says Wicked D. I hate pink. Mm -mm. It's red. I should have just done a non metal metal dragon instead. <laughs> mm. Democracy doesn't work. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I try. I try and give you all these uh, opportunities to vote and everything. Was was non metal metal a uh, a category? No, no, that wasn't suggested. I think we've got out of your comfort zone and we've got um, 
at, you know left it over there and need to paint it type of thing. I think that's enough without adding. Mm. Not that, not that there's a Pokemon, that weird that pussy cat with a weird tail. Mm. This is MLG, we'll have to try them for a honest review. Nope, mm. I will not. <laughs> I, I can assure you, Mrs. MLG will not like any of these. Because <laughs> she doesn't like any kind of weird sweets. Don't like sour. No. Or spicy. Yep. So, I'm going to, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> just do the top edge there, around there, like that, with the brown, and then the bottom bit, all around the bottom here, is going to be grey anyway. I'm going to paint it like a nice pillar of stone. Okay, Dee says, I know, that's why it would be fun. I see, I'll do lots of things and I'll make death dead of myself, but no, I'm not eating those. Get anything spicy, even the corn was too spicy for me. John and Red Scope caught the Pokemon. Well done. Right then, so we'll just have to sit him over there a minute or two while he uh, he dries out. It's, it's an awesome looking mini. So I asked you this earlier. Do you actually know what you're doing with it? Yeah, I'm going to paint his skin skin colour, and I'm going to paint his. Hair bright orange, and I'm going to paint his axe in a super choppy axe fashion. And he's going to have loads of like gold bits in his beard and stuff. So, your answer is, I'm going to paint him. What do you think I'm going to do with it? Uh, yeah. Okay. But yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to make him look like a traditional troll slayer, is, is my plan. So, while he's drying, mm -hmm. I've got this little goblin that's going to be an RCL mini. Oh, Get rid of that little tab off the bottom of his base because that's going to bug me. I might have to end up doing something else for my don't like this mini because I don't think I'm going to get it done. <laughs> Bombay yep. bad boy pot noodles says Red Snail. I haven't you had one of those before? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Right, let's get some. Why is Pando saying it's nice to meet everybody again? What are you doing, Pando? Uh, maybe someone new come, has come in. Not, or is it first time chatters? Knows about it. <laughs> first time yeah. chatters. I think Pando's just feeling a bit left out. Oh, there you go. You see, John's paying attention <coughs> to Right then. So this goblin. Goblin. Gobble, gobble, gobble. It's going to get some. Uh, it's going to get some green skin. Subtle hint that Pando wants treats. Yeah, he's not normally that subtle though, is he? Pando is going to cheat again. Who thinks that Pando's going to cheat at rock, paper, scissors again? Pando always cheats. So John has gone for scissors. Pando is going to go for... Paper. We both got paper. It's a tie. But you didn't know, Pando. <laughs> you didn't. John won. <laughs> We all Ooh. know. We all know. We all know we won. <laughs> we can see. <laughs> ah, good old panda. <laughs> what a week. What's everybody been up to then? We've been at work. Yep. Gizmo has been keeping an eye on the world outside. Been super well behaved. Uh, even stopped, even stopped eating the cardboard box when I told him to. No, Pando doesn't like to lose. No, Pando is a sore loser. This goblin ain't got a lot of clothes on. <laughs> Wiki D has had the most Mondayest of Mondays ever. <laughs> I've just been picking orders, wandering about. Still at work, but taking a break to watch Mr. MLG be tortured by sour sweets. Well, he has had some, and he's done, he, you know, 
he likes sour sweets and so far it's kind of backfiring on wicked d who got these sour sweets for mr mlg because so far he's liked them <laughs> Speed painting competition, eh? Speed painting. We are okay. doing for the great MLG brush off every month. We have a different category, and this month's category, as voted by the community, is out of your comfort zone. And currently, we are all very much out of our comfort zones. Uh, I am painting a human, of which I hate painting humans, and Mr. MLG is painting a giant bust of a dwarf which he's just put over there for a couple of seconds it's just drying this this massive monstrosity is uh, is what i'm working on which i told him he had to start because he's supposed to paint it in a month uh, and he hadn't started it until just now i'm trying to make teeny tiny trees for my dragon turtle teeny tiny trees i haven't started my dragon turtle well that's something else you see yeah. There's so much to and, do. And uh, mo I guess most importantly, if I don't start the dragon turtle, it doesn't matter, does it? it it's not the end of the world. You've done yours. Uh, but I have got to paint this month um, my uh, red dragon. Why? Because that's for our uh, quarterly large group. Oh yes, don't be don't be missing out on commitments. Commitments and must be done. And I've got this guy, he's he's for a trio, and then I've got um, Night Slip to do for a duo with Wicked D. I've still got all of mine to do. Uh, I've still got my duo and my trio and my out of <coughs> comfort zone, which I'm currently trying to do and I, not doing it very well. I did think today, but you'd already, uh, you'd already told everybody that I was painting the bust. I did think that maybe I could get away with... Uh, doing my red dragon as my <laughs> look you picked the world's biggest bust yeah and I oh, no, it's fine it's fine you're never gonna get that done and you're like yeah 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 and if you keep not painting it then you're definitely never gonna get it done are you? no well i was what i was gonna say was that i should have my red dragon as my out of my comfort zone but it's not you paint your dragons before yeah well red no. never goes well for me no cheating <laughs> Can confirm that trying to paint a McFarlane model in an hour is a bad idea. Some nice entries from others that, that they're, they're a large thing to try and paint in yeah. a speed painting, aren't they? Definitely. Got a lot of and stuff on them as well. Battlebane says, might start painting soon, just been at college all day. Well, this is the only time that we do paint uh, when Mr. MLG is streaming. So it really means that he doesn't actually have all month to paint that bust. He's only got the three hours a week that we stream. And then I've got all my other things that I need to paint. And I've got to paint, I've got to build and paint all my Night Lords and... But again, this is why I said, if you're gonna do that, you better start it. <laughs> I mean, you know, didn't, didn't say that. I'm currently making tiny stitches out of cotton for my flesh golem. There's a lot of work going on in the uh, community tonight, isn't there? Oh yeah, that I've, seems... I've just uh, I've just missed the lid of my paint and stabbed the paint into my hand instead <laughs> because that's the kind of thing you do. There's still some card, is there? Is there, John? Yes, there is. So John, very, very kindly, uh, gave everybody some free stream loot cards, which you can use to make Mr. MLG do stupid things. Uh, and John has put some in the stream loot's account, so if you're quick, you can go and grab some free ones. Yay! That's very I, kind. Thank I you, John. I didn't put the sweets into stream loot because I thought that was a bit mean, really. Uh, because that's like money, isn't it? Actual, real life money. So that's why I did it in the Lancer Rewards. Ooh, what's this? He feels the love. Oh, that's a new one too. That's the kind of love I have where it just, I'm like, uh, what's this mm. thing? Flobs on the floor. I've been researching nasty gore, says Tony. 
involves a blood effect paint, soil, oh I, I've read that with the soil, static grass and unravelling string. I think I may have um, seen the same thing you have. <laughs> never tried it though, never tried it. Uh, so yes, go, go follow that link uh, to the stream notes and go get yourself some cards. I need some cheap filler, but everything I've seen in Brig is expensive, says Pete. I suppose it depends what your cost is expensive and what you need, really, I suppose. Yeah, what, what do you need it to fill? Remember to start with a black base coat for the Red Dragon. Start layering dark red, then slowly highlight up the scales through bright red, orange, yellow. And finally, a tiny white highlight. Nine layers per scale should do it. <laughs> and Wiki D says, boys sell cheap filler. <laughs> Probably didn't see it quite so grumpy as I just have. It's all about painting humans, painting. Can it just be pretend that they're actually undead and paint them that colour instead? <laughs> you could pretend it's undead if you want and paint it as a dead dead thing playing a yeah. Well, she's not really going to be the same then, is she? <laughs> because he says, yes, it was far more chirpier when I said it. Boys sell cheap filler. <laughs> was it more like that? Yay, I'm back. Whiffy went waffy. <laughs> hey, Tony. You've missed me being grumpy again, which, you know, brought in Wicked Dee's voice. You're not grumpy. Uh, so, I'm going to use some Too Thin Coats Dwarven Skin as my base coat. For my dwarf, I think. Actually named. Hmm. It's to make C. Saw a video on Facebook that uses filler, but a fiver is too much. Why well, that's Do you want ready mix stuff or stuff you have to mix? Glue's still damp from last Thursday. In my, uh, in my palette. Right then. So, it's not fully dry, but I'm willing to take the take the risk of getting some uh, some dark staining in the edges because it's going to get shaded anyway. Ready mixed. Yeah, you're going to have to spend at least a fiver, Pete. I'm sure Pete will sort his little self out. Right then. Let's let's get stuck in. Skin Ah, refreshing, says Panda. Oh, I've made this look. Made her mouth look like a blow up doll. <laughs> have you seen, have you really just done a blow up doll impression? Did that just happen? Yeah. Oh, no, I miss it. You'd be able to catch it on the VOD thing later. <laughs> so, yeah, don't forget you can use. Uh, eat sweets, the new redemption to make mystery logi. Eat the sweets that Wicked D uh, oh, sorry. purchased in. I don't, I don't understand what Wicked D's saying. I don't, I'll have looked. That's a very small brush for a big mini. Uh, yeah, why are you using such a tiny brush? Because I want to be able to, uh, there's still some damp patches and I want to be able to lend it in without it smushing over the entire thing. Oh, Red Scopes put some pictures of that dwarf in the, uh, oh, right. in the Discord. Definitely looks like that one. Mystery MLGs won't look like that one. That's a look. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that's cool. To hmm. painting with the tiniest brush ever. Why are you painting with the tiniest brush? I just brush said, because I want it to be able to blend into the wet bits. 
There's a wild Pokemon in chat. Oh, it looks super cute. Like a fuzzy spider. <laughs> is, is he whinging again, Karadiko? Is he whinging again? Panda says, I'm hungry. And Karadiko says, I just fed you. <laughs> uh, oh, come on. You're going to be there forever. <laughs> Can't rush something like this. This is a quality mini. I'm going to try not to. <laughs> He's got too many teeth for a start. Oh yeah, that might be a bit scary. It's a bit bitey. What do you want him to try now? Which ones do you think are the worst? Seems how you got them. Say my name, say my name. Pete would like you to say his name. Pete, 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 Pete. Pete the hydrator. Ooh, ooh. Pete the hydrator. Ooh, ooh. Toxic waste water melon. You know it takes forever to finish a bottle of paint and then they finish all at the same time. It's a Sharon. <laughs> You've got to have a toxic waste water melon. Okay. Toxic waste water melon. Just happens that that was at the top. Well, these are the ones that you weren't so keen on. Oh, it wasn't that I didn't. That, that I wasn't keen on them. They were just a bit like. Whoop. Ah, and, and, a, and a hydrate. At the same time. Mm. What's that one? I think the water has just. Like. Proper release the sourness. <clears throat> a well timed, a well timed hydrate from uh, from Battle Bay in there. With me, with me, with me, with me. Exact. A black one. Black curly wig. Black curly wig. John the Templar wants to feel some tingles. <laughs> and to dance. <laughs> to do a dance. I'm never going to get this thing painted. Yep. Ting tingles is your department. Oh, no. Tingles is your bit. Oh, but I'm rubbish at it. No, you know I'm rubbish at it. Well, I definitely can't do it. So, yeah. Right, are we all ready to just feel weird for a couple of minutes? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad. I don't even know if we've got anything. Right, I'm very sorry. That's <laughs> all I'm going to say. <laughs> Like. Told you, told you I was 
keep the hydrator would like you to give them the wave. Hi! You could have eaten the sour sweets, that would have been hilarious. I'm not eating it, I told you. Pete the Hydrator thinks you're crazy. That's because we are. Look, there's Kissy Boo. Kissy, kissy, kissy Boo. Are you painting under his armpit now? Mm hmm. No! <gasps> dun, dun, dun! Made me look up. Made you look up. Money, money saving tip. Check your uh, if you are a Sky customer. Pete is enjoying this stream. Pete is enjoying this stream. I told you we have to listen to what the cards. Uh, all right, sorry. Uh, yeah, money, money saving tip. If you're a Sky customer, uh, make sure you check your bill. There are prices going up. Uh, I I checked ours on uh, Saturday and have cut our bill almost in half. So if you're a uh, if you're a Sky customer. Uh, definitely well worth checking out. What was that? That was a bit weird. That was a bit strange, that one, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, make, make sure you're not paying too much for the, for the services that you're getting. Suspense sound, apparently. Oh, it's very suspenseful. <laughs> better than my uh, ASMR attempt at least. Oh, God. It's quite heavy this thing. I like the way John hasn't hasn't come back and gone, yeah that was terrible. <laughs> it's too, too kind to say. Don't oh, forget to get your stream loot cards, make some weird noises. Don't make me jump now. Pete the Hydrator feels the love. Oh, Pete's feeling the love and John's cheering. That's true. Yeah. Is, is that cheering for at least I tried? <laughs> yeah, don't make me jump now because I'm painting. I'm still trying to paint her lips to not look like a blow up doll. We've uh, we've got some little pin up, pin pin up, uh, pin badges in the uh, in the shop that are a gold star that yes. say that say you tried. <laughs> on them. And they've been really popular, actually. I told you they would be. They're yeah. they're funny. Yeah. Oh come on! You're just making a right mess now. <sighs> <laughs> this is uh, this is proving tricky. What, if, painting if, with the smallest brush in the world? No, no, because if I was using a big brush, I would have wrecked it by now. You know you've only got a month, Tom. <laughs> this, is, this is a crucial stage. I'm not saying it's not, I'm just saying, you know you've only got a month, right? Yeah, I tell you what, I'll, I'll just get a big brush and just smash it out, shall I? Yep. <laughs> it's only the base coat, isn't it? Yeah, it's important to... Get it right. You do what you want, sweetie pie. You do you. Yeah. I can't say anything. I'm over here making a right mess. Another turtle made it to the water. Oh, thank you, Red. Another turtle's mm -hmm. made it. We've saved another turtle. That the book seems to be very popular. Question mark. Uh, is that is that a question <laughs> or a statement? Um, they're okay. They're doing okay. Yeah. Uh, somebody did come in. And one of our regulars came in and didn't realise that we had books. And I thought to myself, I have banged on quite a lot <laughs> <laughs> on social media about the fact we've got books. Uh, social media, I know full well that he is part of, but apparently he hadn't seen any of them. No. But then, social media can do that, can't it? You can hide things. Yeah. Despite the fact that you follow. <laughs> Pete the Hydrator, we love having you here. Oh, we do, Pete, we do. We love you, Pete. Look, it's me and everything. 
Pando says, nice to meet you, I'm Pando. Who are you <laughs> talking to, Pando? Have you, uh, have you perused the book section? <laughs> Peruse the book section, Red Scout. What do you think? Uh, we can get more books. Uh, yeah. we, we were just getting some to see what they were like. We can get more. Uh, but this is just, let's see how they go. So if there is anything that you think that you would like to buy from us, uh, just let us know and we'll look into getting it in. Definitely. I got, I got four of the fighting fantasy books, says Tony, very happy, and my youngest Wills is curious about them now. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, well timed. <laughs> well timed here. Yeah. Excellent. I think Pando is having some kind of crisis. This is very strange behaviour. Ooh, haven't spotted fighting fantasy books. Yes, it's doing the book section. I keep banging. Maybe I need to bang on about it a bit more. Mm. I'll check those out for my daughter. Yes, there's also Terry Pratchett. Uh, depending on how, how old your kids are, we've got some of the Terry Pratchett uh, kids' books. We've got Dragons at Crumbling Castle and Diggers, Trucks and Wings. Uh, and some of the older uh, young like young adult readers as well. We've got some Tiffany Aiken books and things like that. We've got Tolkien. We've got Lovecraft. We've got some other people. Uh Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, Red Dwarf. R Red we've, Dwarf. We've got, what's the Game of Thrones? No. George R. R. Martin. Yeah, we've got that one. Uh, some of his uh, Wild Cards series as well. Yes. Because I've read some of those and enjoyed it. They're definitely not children's books. I think you should, Tony. I think you should. Uh, I got two. You did, John. I picked those. Uh, and the Sandman. Oh, did you get the Sandman? I didn't pick the Sandman. Was that a separate order? I didn't pick the Sandman. Yes, we've got some graphic novels as well. Uh, we can get more. Again, we can get more graphic novels. We've just got a, a smattering to see what the interest is like. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the book that started my love of reading, says Wiki D. I don't have a love of reading, but Mr. MLG does. <laughs> <clears throat> it's nice to uh, it's nice to read a good book. Every once in a while. It's just finding the time. That's it. I have plenty of time, just not room for me. Mm. I have uh, I have plenty of inclination and no time. Last night, uh, I'd fallen asleep on the uh, sofa because I'd been at work all day, and uh, I, we went to bed early, didn't we? I think I was asleep for nine o'clock. Uh, yes, you were. I did wake you up because uh, we went to bed at half past eight. Uh, because he he was so tired. Normally he falls asleep on the sofa and we just like ignore him until he starts snoring. But he looked so exhausted that I said to him, I'll come to bed with you and then you'll actually have a proper sleep. But then I woke you up at about nine because uh, I needed to get out of bed to sort something out. <laughs> but I didn't let you go back to sleep. <laughs> Separate order, that's fine then, John. As long as I didn't miss something, that would have been terrible. Uh no yeah. talking about dice. I am a recovering dice holic. There's no such thing. You can never have too many dice. We've even got a skull full of dice on the counter at the shop. Yeah. Uh, do you know if you'll be doing the uh, Vash Tor pre-order on Saturday? That, that's that's a me not reading that well thing. From John. Yeah, yes, yes, we will. Yes, we will. We've uh, we've we've organised that today. Um, so yes, it will be uh, it will be going up for pre-order on Saturday. Is that a VW? Yeah, Vashtor. Um, you actually got them? Not yet, but we uh, we should have them this week, ready for uh, confidence pre-orders. Because mm, we're a bit. Mm. Yeah, we did. Uh, I did actually get a phone call from somebody at GW today. In response to my request last week, waited until Friday, didn't we? Y yeah. Which I thought was a bit cheeky, hoping we weren't still there. Ha ha ha, you fool, we're always there. Mm. <laughs> it was alright. 
he uh, seemed to take on board what I was saying, so we'll see. Mm. We'll see how uh, how that goes down. Gave gave him some feedback. Bent his ear. <laughs> No such thing as too many dice, it's Fenway. Too little dice. Oh, there's Pokemon as well, everybody. Weird flying bat sheep. Too little dice storage is a thing, though. I definitely need a bigger dice bag. We've got lots of different dice storage options for you, including a mimic um, box that opens and closes its mouth with a magnetic opener. Uh, just, you know, it's just letting you know. It's really cool, isn't it? Not... Officially licensed. Yeah, it is. Not sure, but you're allowed to stream play with your audience. You see, I, uh, I'm i not sure. I don't know either. I, I tried to Google copyright on reading books and stuff like that, and it's just nobody seems to know. <laughs> it's very strange. Um, I don't know if you're allowed to or not. I, I don't know why you wouldn't, but then it is like a grey, weird, muggy area, so I'm not sure. What's that? Reading books out? Yeah, to, to do the fancy fantasy book, you know, to oh, read right. it and do it. Um, half of Google says no, you're not allowed, and half of Google says yes, you are. So it's not really very clear. And apparently, you don't own that ball, Red Scope, so no throwing it about. Mm. Cornico caught the weird woolly cheap bat. Sheep bat. It looked like a sheep, but it was a bat. It was called a woo bat or something. Ah, right. I know the one you mean. Yeah, they they probably got approval. See, it's very strange because some some people say, yeah, it's fine as long as you've got the like approval of the artist and all that. It's very grey muggy. I mean. I don't know. <laughs> I did try and find answers, but I was failing miserably. A bit like how I'm painting this lady's face. Failing miserably. I'm painting a face. Yeah, but you're painting a massive, huge face. I'm painting a tiny, thumb-sized face. <laughs> And, that, and she looks like me when I wear makeup and it's all smudged all over. <laughs> it's a mess. Yeah, Battlebane says he needs more dice. Always need more dice. Uh, keeps dropping them. We'll have to. Uh, you'll have to have a look in my mixed bag of dice that I found all over the floor in the gaming uh, yeah. area in Battlebane, see if any of them are yours. Or get a, or get a dice tray to, uh, to roll them in. We sell those too. We do. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to have a look at uh, how some other people might have painted this guy, just for a bit of bit of inspiration. Yeah, I suppose red scope. <laughs> Let's keep putting that bit. In. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. But then there's also the added um, downside of me reading. I mean, you've seen how uh, terrible I am at reading out the chat. We will be having some quiz streams. Uh, Wicked D and I are going to be doing some quiz streams. Oh, hi Pandos, nice to meet you too. He's waving his tongue at everybody again. Um, in the, uh, about two or three weeks time, something like that. Uh, there will be some notifications kicking around. So there's that to look forward to. Do we need to write some questions for our quiz? But you know. <laughs> I've still got this wig on. Why have I still got a wig on? Because uh, no one's told you to take it off. Oh. 
My head's all warm. Definitely too warm. Yeah. Missed all this side of this guy's head. What's it all? Uh, yeah, I, was, I don't know. I was going to... I was not any of the fighting fantasy book, um, the books that we're talking about that. I've forgotten what they're called now. Uh, yeah, should have. In my uh, in my book collection that is like currently boxed up. Stretch! John Fee Templar says stretch. That's me making noise when it's not really me. Stretch! <laughs> I have a folder file full of quiz questions and oh. from lockdown. I'll get it sent to you. Oh, that sounds scary. You'll know all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds scary. Well, if Wicked D's going to be I presenting it. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, yes. Is that uh, from work, Wicked D? Aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Being around the world, aye, aye. Uh, yes, in my in my book collection, which is uh, boxed up outside, uh, I need which I need to go through anyway to find the ones for Little Miss. Um, there should be some fighting fantasy books in in amongst those. So we'll I was going to say we'll there's actually you know the books are at the shop. Yeah. And for sale. Yeah. Haven't I haven't got any of the ones that like the early ones. I've got um Volta the Vampire is I think one of the ones that I've got, but I haven't seen that one as being a current imprint. Alright. Yeah. 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 Oh, but, right, from the, family quiz times, I see. But then that might be better anyway. Yeah, because well, then that won't be one. Anyway, are we getting on with that? Because we can't see what you're doing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you know, it, yeah that's why you've moved. It, lo it looks like this so far. That's quite a nice colour. What colour was that then? What colour did you put uh, underneath? So it was umber. I think it's dark umber from Reaper to begin with. And then this is uh, dwarf. Dwarven skin oh. from uh, Duncan Rhodes' Two Thin Coats Painting Academy. I see. Which we need to restock. We do. We need to do lots of things. Lots of things. Yeah, I might uh, might do that tomorrow. I found a pic of the first mini that I did for the MLG Mini a week lockdown challenge. Or did, did, did we do that? I can't remember. Well, you were doing a mini a day. So. Was I was. <laughs> Those challenges helped me to accept not perfect and to speed up, and I just enjoyed myself. Oh, that's awesome. That challenge was a huge help for me. Oh, excellent. Despite the fact I can't remember it, I am very glad, because uh, as we've established, that's, that's, that's nothing on you. That's all my weird small brain. Uh, I'm very glad that it helps. That's really nice. Uh, some of the older ones are out of print. Sell for a lot on eBay. Oh, it's got all sorts of stuff, have not you? Like the Vault of the Vampire is 20 to 25 to 30 pounds. Is it? It's probably in good condition, though, and not being in the garage for however long it's been in the garage. Oh. <laughs> they're, they're all sealed in really useful boxes. Mm-hmm. Somebody said something nice um, on one of our Facebook things, didn't they? I will give you three pounds fifty for it. <laughs> um, I had put a, a post on, as I always do, on the social medias, saying, "Look, we've got lots of YouTube things. <laughs> go check out our YouTube things, because there's all sorts of YouTube things. Go have a look." And somebody had said um, that even though they can't get to watch the Twitch because they can't access Twitch, that they watch the um, videos on the YouTube that I put up. And even when they're feeling a bit grumpy and a bit down, they, they always make them smile. And I thought that was really nice. That is. Because that's, Very. that's all we do it for, really, isn't it? Just you lot. Yeah. Just seeing you lot. It's all your fault. <laughs> that we, that we're here annoying you. <laughs> and you're eating sweets. Mm. Which so far you've liked. Yeah. Which I don't think we could be intended. 
I mean, I did tell him he likes that as well. Uh, Red Scope says that they must point out that the pictures that they put on Discord of that dwarf are not pictures that they have painted, just images that they have found. Uh. <laughs> you are. You're a two-year stalker, Tony. That's right. How was he looking? How, how does he look from, from your perspective, viewers? G gentle viewers. Who used, who used to say that? I can't remember. How's everybody getting off with on with their February brush ups? I think. Was it Asma that needed uh, a little more time? I'm not sure if Roy is going to be able to finish it because I don't think Roy's had a lot of free time lately. Uh, Metsa says, it looks awesome. Kunika says, he looks fabulous. We just want your praise now. With the says, I was aiming for likeable, but more sour gagginess. <laughs> You'll have to try harder. Um... I'm doing poop with my lady. She's rubbish. I can't remember. Oh yes, it's over time, isn't it, Tony? You keep us right. Tony's got to go. Take care, Tony. Thank you for coming. Uh, Thank you for, for being an awesome two year subscriber. That's insane. Um, and we'll have to go too because we've got to get some work done. Yep. Uh, this really isn't going to get much painted though, is it? I'm nowhere near painting mine either. Yeah, well, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be painting a bit more oh, of him tomorrow. I won't paint mine on screen. Oh, yeah? No. Because yeah. I need to be able to see it. Oh, okay. you can't see it. On screen, on stream, because of the camera is in the way. So, are you done? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do this little bit at the bottom here, and then we'll carry on with him tomorrow. Oh, okay. So we're gonna say goodbye. Yep. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he will. He'll just be eating them now. Yeah. That, that he'll stink, won't he? The tacky thing. <laughs> <laughs> See you all at six o'clock tomorrow. See you later. Thank Bye. you. Thanks, Wicked Day. Bye.